I'm at the Edison Ford Winter Estate today with my friend Mina Edison. I just bought this pineapple at a supermarket and believe me, it cost me more than I could afford. So I spoke to Mina and, and you know what? She's told me how to propagate pineapples to make it much cheaper. So that's what we're gonna do right now. If you come with me, let's propagate pineapple per her instructions. Mina tells me that pineapples are propagated from their vegetative offshoots. And there are four types of offshoots. So not from seeds, but from our fruits. The first offshoot is the crown. And it comes off the head of a mature pineapple fruit. So this is the fruit, and this is the crown, and this will produce a new plant with fruits. So this is what we do. Here's the break. In order to plant it, we're going to strip away the bottom leaves and expose the tissue that will produce the roots. So we just take some off here and that will facilitate root production. So here we go. Not too much. We don't, we don't want to take off too much. That's enough. That's enough. All we have to do is take this and put it in the ground. It's that simple. Put it in the ground and firm it in. That's it. 18 to 24 months later, we ought to have a fruit coming out of here. Okay, go for it. The second propagative part is called the slip. And the slip is new growth that comes from the old mother pineapple that has already produced a fruit. It's a good thing that the pineapple is not deeply rooted because you can easily lift them out of the ground. There you go. Look at that lousy root. But it doesn't take much for them to give us happiness. It doesn't take much of a root system to give us happy fruits. What we're doing here is we're exposing the daughter that came from the original mother plant because all pineapple parts are capable of producing fruits, so they're all daughters, not sons. We're going to remove the daughter from the mother and be careful as much as possible not to injure the offspring. So let's make the separation. It's about time she leaves the nest, but we don't want to kill her in the process. Okay, she barely made it. This is enough material to ensure roots and the formation of a new plant, a new daughter, and more apple pineapples. We're going to put it back in the same place that it came from before we ripped it apart from the mother plant. So simple, stick it in the ground. And again, like the crown, just firm it up. Firm it up because there is no roots. And in a couple of months, we're going to see rudimentary roots. Remember, the reason why we don't see much root formation is simply because these are bromeliads and oftentimes bromeliads can grow in other plants, so they really don't need much of a root system. Remember, this was the old mother plant. We took the daughter from the mother. We've planted the daughter, so it will never fruit again. It's still going to be of some use into the compost bin.